Hey there, my name is Dimitri and I am somebody who loves Notion and especially loves all of the new amazing improvements they've made in automations recently. I'm a content creator, agency owner, and automation nerd and something that Notion's added recently is a game changer. You actually have the ability to make your own recurring tasks in the same way that a product like Todoist would do it with sort of the natural recurring tasks rather than it being a new task that is created over time, it actually will just reset the date to a new date. So I wanna dive into how this works. And I'd like to thank Thomas Frank for this Twitter, or I guess X post, whatever you wanna call it, that showed how to do it, really cool stuff. So first and foremost, I'm gonna go to Notion and I'm actually gonna make this from scratch. So if we go into a new database here, and let's just say daily habits or whatever kind of habit tracker database I wanna make, I can make it from scratch or I could pick some sort of template that is a habit tracker and then add to it. Like say I search habit tracker. Not a bad option on these, but for all intents and purposes, you're probably gonna to wanna to just make it yourself, I guess. So let's just call it a habit tracker. And then I'm just gonna set up a slash database in line, call it a habit tracker or recurring tasks, whatever you want. And then from there, obviously we're gonna to want to make a date and then we can make some tasks like take out the trash. Then we can do some other ones like Swiffer slash sweep and then maybe dust and prep morning coffee. All right, so these are some different items that have different intervals of recurring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a number here and the number is essentially going to be a recur interval. What is that gonna do? It's gonna make it so that an item recurs at a certain amount of time, but that's the number portion. The second portion we're gonna do is we're gonna make a frequency. So we're gonna say either recur, either frequency or recur units. Let's just get a full width one in here to make it easier. Okay, so now what do you mean by weekly? It could be pretty much anything. It could be like weekly, daily, and by the way, it actually couldn't be anything. It's gonna be based off of, as you can see in formula properties, what are the different, if I do like a date add right here, you see it says days, months, and years. So I'm actually gonna fix this to be weeks, days, and then let's add another one for years. So say I have to do like yearly tax planning or something like that. Let's go tax planning. It's not a habit quite, but I just wanna show it for example purposes. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set some dates. So let's say this is for today, right? So it's gonna be on, or I'll just set it to next Monday, get started next week. I'm gonna say the Swiffer also starts on Monday, the dusting as well, and the prepping morning coffee too. And then I'm gonna set my tax planning one as well. So we're gonna set all those to next Monday and say, for example, I only take the trash out once a week. And actually it's on Wednesdays, for example, I'm gonna just do one. So every one week it would recur. Uh, Swiffer, I actually do it pretty much like every two days. Dust, I try to do it every day. Prep morning coffee every day and then tax planning once a year, okay? And let's just say for the ease of showcasing more examples, prepping morning coffee might only happen every like four days, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up an automation for the following. When I have this checkbox property here and this is checked off, I want this date to change. So I'd have to just go to automations here and say trigger had recurring task. Go to checkbox, type checkbox and have it be when this is set to checked, okay? And it's gonna do the following. First of all, it's gonna uncheck the checkbox because I wanted to kind of redo the whole situation. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to edit the date property with a custom formula. So there's this thing inside of automations now that's a great improvement where you can basically take the trigger page and then you can put dot and then a property, so like date, and then you can put dot again and then date add, and then you're gonna continue this process by adding trigger page again, dot the recur interval, okay? And then comma, trigger page dot recur unit. All right, so what does this say? This basically says, let's take the date of the page that got checked off, and then we're gonna add whatever the recur number is of that trigger page by the unit amount of that trigger page. Okay, right, let's press create. So that would mean when I check this off, it's gonna uncheck the checkbox and then change the date to one week later. Now, if you do wanna make it a little bit easier, maybe to have the set date move first so it doesn't freak you out that it like immediately unchecks it just as a visual fix i'm gonna do that so let's pretend this should go to december 25th okay now let's also set this to be sorted by date 
as ascending so you can kind of get a get a vibe for the changes here so i'm going to set this in this order and let's just go through this so first it's my monday i have swift press check you'll see what's going to happen if you give it a moment when i pressed it if i set last edited by as a property you'll see that notion edited it right and the recur interval is two days later right and the date was previously two days before which was the 16th cool and i'm going to just set another checkbox here so dust again let's give it a sec it's going to do the formula and in a second it is going to take that dust checkbox and move it to the 17th and uncheck it morning coffee what's four days after december 16th should be 20th let's see what happens bing bang boom you got a december 20th prep morning coffee same with dust again let's say it's another day i'm just going through my daily habits i could have this view filtered to something like date is this week or date is today um, just to make it fun for like somebody who's trying to do like a daily habit view but for purposes of this i'm just kind of showing how it works then i could press check again and you're gonna get a one week change to december 25th christmas and then the coolest one here definitely press that change it to as you'll see here 2025 tax planning. Now, obviously this is a little limited only days, weeks, and years. However, it's not something we had previously. And I'm very grateful for this. It is a huge level of improvement. You have no idea how nice it is that you can do things based off of trigger properties and pages now. Big improvement from before. Definitely recommend you trying this out. And just knowing that if you can grab properties by having trigger page, then the property followed with a dot in between, you're able to do things that you weren't really familiar with and it's simply you're taking the trigger page in this instance you're pressing another dot which is affecting the rest of the chain and then from there you just get going pretty cool stuff overall it's so so simple to do i also just want to showcase how if you take a look at it all of these options have custom formulas now so you can do so much but simply like setting it to unchecked showcases the custom formula and what that was to give you more of an inside scoop so definitely try this out it is one of the better improvements notions ever had and is really powerful Powerful. If you're on the plus plan or don't have the plus plan, get it and try this out today. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. And check out this video on how to improve your skills using Notion even more.